and we're back. It's like time travel. everybody it's Jack from Atlantis Water Gardens and I am back today building water features we are in Rockaway New Jersey Boulevard's moving a machine in behind me so we're gonna be doing something pretty exciting today right back here and over here two water features one house check it out location number one is right here we're gonna be building a custom fountainscape using three of the aquascape stack slate urn. that was hard to get out using three of the aquascape stack slate urns we're gonna take the large one actually use the bottom half for another part of the feature and there'll be waterfalls coming down in between everything that's gonna be pretty sweet over here we're gonna be doing two of the patio bowls we're actually gonna customize them. we're gonna cut some waterfalls into them load them up with aquatic plants it's going to be a really nice addition to this area with the pergola and the grill this whole environment here back here small backyard but he's really maximizing his space with the deck the patio and then you've got the water features here tucked in amongst this backyard which will be fully landscaped i think it's supposed to clear up today it's a little bit cloudy this morning but you know that doesn't deter us we're gonna get at it, start building this water feature here. We're gonna start by putting in our reservoir for our custom fountainscape. And then we've got an aqua basin going on this side. So we'll show you that stuff. Of course, we'll be checking back along the way, explain what's happening so you guys can keep up with what we're doing here. So here's our current state of affairs. Bolivar is working on drilling in our bulkheads for the tops of our stack slate urns. He's drilling in and recessing the lighting that's going in the top. Let me show you what that looks like. Well, let me show you what a, a stock urn looks like. Oh, geez. So this is what it looks like right from the factory. It's got this little hole and there's a, a piece that comes with it that fits in there and there's nothing else going on. These stanchions are actually for fire pots. It's an aftermarket thing that goes in there and you can actually put a paraffin oil in there and it lights it up with fire in the top. And these have it as well. So what we do is we drill out the inside, install a two inch bulkhead, and we countersink a one watt LED light into the top. So when this is working and the water's flowing up through here, that light lights up that column of water and it looks like the top of this urn has got fire coming out of it which is pretty sweet so that's the medium he's working on the top of the large right now and we'll do the same with the small which is over there then we can place the urns set our plumbing up and get this thing rolling so that it's at the point where all the plumbing work is done then we can start forming our rock work around it and building our waterfalls to integrate all that stuff with this cool fountainscape. Over on this side, we're installing an aqua basin, which is a preformed reservoir. It's about 16 inches deep. It's got an access hole for a pump, which is where our pump is gonna be that runs this feature. Right where Dan's working, they've run into some underground utilities, conduit and gas line and drainage line. So we've gotta move some things around, create an area where we can squeeze that reservoir in, and this all gets backfilled, then we can start building this cool water feature here which is going to consist of those patio bowls right there we've got two patio bowls these are originally designed to just be a self-contained little water garden you could have a pump in there some sort of little statuary fixture whether it's a deer chaser bamboo or a little spitting thing it's got a shelf for plants what we like to do with them because i love the colors on them and the texture 
is make them into their own water features. There's a factory notch in the side of this. That's for the pump cord. So we're gonna take and widen this up and we'll make this into a spill and we'll cut a second one somewhere in that area. We'll have two spills coming out of here. This is gonna be set up so it's slightly above that bowl. So one spill will be coming into it. And that bowl, same thing, will have two spills coming out. And the other spill that's set up on this bowl will be coming down into our gravel, which is gonna be over there. I really like these bowls a lot. They look so classy. And it's such a nice feature to fit into the backyard. Doesn't create a lot of splash, but it creates a really nice presence. What I like most about these fountainscapes, especially with a small backyard like this, we're creating a lot of action in a small space. We're getting vertical real fast with these urns. And then back there, we've got that soothing sound of those patio bowls spilling into one another and then disappearing to that reservoir. This is gonna be so cool when it's finished. So in vlog land, we are just rolling on this job. Reality, it's day two, and we just got going here. We just had our coffee. We're gonna get started here with shaping out in front of where the reservoir is. We've got our three urns in place. We're staging them. We're actually gonna get our plumbing done, and then we're gonna start setting some boulders. We're hoping to have most of our boulder work done today so that tomorrow we can focus on finish on this side and tackle that little spillway bowl feature that's going to be over there which is going to be pretty awesome so we are getting back at it today rocking and rolling So we're doing some plumbing now for these urns and we're customizing them along the way as well. I don't know if you can see down here, we've got a manifold that's gonna control those three urns that are there. So we've got two two inch valves and one one inch valve. This way we can control the flow of each of the urns. We're running off of one pump for all three of them. And we've got a separate pump that's gonna run that other small piece. Boulevard's working on mocking up the plumbing so we can see what we're gonna need. You can see a lot of this stuff's been placed we actually drilled some holes and got the plumbing inside of the urn there we'll get this one hooked up and this one we're just going to stub up because we're going to raise this urn up once we do our rock work we're going to backfill the gravel so we're not going to quite get this one finished yet Here's our current state of affairs. So our decorative features are all in. The plumbing is done. Boulevard's just doing some finished hookup over there. We've got some rocks set. Uh, we're starting to create some waterfalls and we're gonna pretty much call it a night here. Let me fix my exposure. How's that, better? Tomorrow we'll be back at it. We're gonna finish this up. We're gonna hopefully get that other little decorative water feature done on the other side. And then we'll show you guys what we came up with here. We'll see you tomorrow. And we're back. It's like time travel. So here we are day two. We're just about finishing up right now with the fountainscape. Bolivar is just doing some electrical wiring for our lighting. And also he's doing some finish work, rock work around the feature to contain all the liner and make it look like it's, it belongs there. Steve's working on doing some conduit for lighting right here, just to add a few more lights around the urns. We have a few more hours before we finish this one up. 
then we can tackle our patio bowl feature this will be right after we get done with that so we're hoping to get this all locked up today running let's get busy Custom Fountainscape is finished. You see a little bit of that in the background. I'm not gonna show you that right now. Not until the end, I'm not giving it away. Next plan of attack is get these patio bowls installed. Let me show you what we're gonna do with this. These are meant to be self-contained patio ponds. So it's got a, a shelf in it where you can put some aquatic plants, even a little statuary for a spitter, a pump in the bottom. Here's a little notch that they have for running the pump cord out. There's a piece that goes in there to hide that. And it's a nice little patio feature looks really cool so what we're going to do we're going to drill a hole in the bottom of it install one of these bulkheads that's going to give us the ability to run plumbing up in here we're going to feed water into it it'll be spilling out we're going to cut notches in it and the same thing with this one they are going on top of this aqua basin this has an access port for our pump we're actually going to have some valving in there to control the two bowls one bowl will go in the center the other one will be offset behind it spilling into the bowl and off to the side, disappearing into the gravel. Gonna be cool. Hey boss baby, you wanna try and do the outro? Give me no. an explanation real quick. No. Nobody will see this. No. Just give it to me, what do we do here? Yeah, you put a bunch of urns in, okay? That's it? That's your whole description? And you made them nice, and then you put those things in, little fountains, and you put the bamboo in, and then I mulched. Why are you gonna do that? Because I love torturing you. It all came together just how I was thinking in my head, which is hard to convey sometimes, but the end result is our signature. So. I'm gonna show you what we did here, but let me explain real fast. So we did a grouping of our stack slate urns made by Aquascape. We did a large, a medium, and a small. The large one, we actually took the bottom section off of it and created another water feature with it. Along with some boulder work, we created some, some waterfalls coming around the stuff. That really turned out nice. And then we took two of the patio bowls, the medium-sized patio bowls, one's like a terracotta, one's a dark slate, and we converted those into spilling waterfalls. We actually notched out uh, two notches in each one, ribbon waterfalls coming out, one spilling into the other and then into the gravel or down a little waterfall. And it's got a little bamboo spitter that starts the top of that feature. If you guys like what we're doing here at Atlantis Water Gardens, please subscribe below, hit the like button, leave me a comment. I wanna hear what you think about these cool water features and we will see you on the next one.